because he played 181 times for Manchester United, Anderson tends to avoid being mentioned when it comes to discussions about Sir Alex Ferguson's worst ever signings. But there's no question that he's one of the most disappointing purchases of Ferguson's 26-year reign. The Brazilian midfielder showed such promise as a teenager, and United fans were buzzing in the summer of 2007 when the club secured his services from FC Porto in a deal worth around £27 million. By the end of his seven-year spell at Old Trafford, however, the same set of supporters were praying for his exit. Although he showed glimpses of his quality, Anderson flattered to deceive on far too many occasions and was could often be found on the treatment table at Carrington with various injury problems. You get the impression that Anderson lasted as long as he did at United because he was such a popular figure inside the dressing room. The happy-go-lucky South American was loved by teammates and staff alike, including Ferguson. Fergie rarely came across as the sentimental type during his managerial career, but he clearly had a soft spot for Endo, who is currently without a club after his international contract was terminated in January. Some fall from grace for a player who doesn't turn 30 until April. When Henry Winter wrote about Anderson's departure from United in 2015, he revealed what Martin Ferguson, the younger brother of Alex and chief European scout of the Red Devils until 2013, told his sibling about Anderson after watching him at Porto in early 2007. How ludicrous does that statement look now? Rooney was one of the world's best footballers in 2007, so Anderson must have had the game of his life when Martin watched him in Portugal. Rooney went on to become United's all-time leading goalscorer. Anderson, on the other hand, is now wondering where it all went so wrong 